Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody is doing well out there today. Uh, today we're gonna continue our series on de-Googleifying our lives by getting rid of the Google search engine, uh, basically entirely uh, for our day-to-day -day needs while we're at home. So uh, what we're gonna take a look at is something called Google. And if we jump over to my desktop here, uh, we can see that Google, uh, Google rather, uh, gets Google search results without ads, JavaScript amplings, cookies, or IP address tracking. It's easily deployable in one click as a Docker app. I, I agree with that, it's super easy to deploy. In fact, it's easy enough, I'm gonna show you two different ways to deploy this uh, in this video. So super easy to deploy, very easy to use. Uh, the one thing I do wanna say here is that uh, this is not meant to be a, an internet facing application. Like this isn't something you'd wanna set up, you know, like search.yourdomain.com or whatever. Uh, this is more for internal usage only, uh, just because of the way it's currently set up. And I'll show you that. Uh, but basically we want this to not be uh, internet facing. We wanna keep this as a, as a closed off uh, local application. <clears throat> uh, in fact, it even says that uh, if we scroll down, <clears throat> over here on their hub.docker.com page. So like it says here on their hub.docker.com page, Google is in intended to only ever de be deployed to private instances by individuals of any background. That, that kind of trails off into whatever, but even here it says private instance, don't make this public. Uh, just keep this, you know, local, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, just to give you a quick overview here, this is uh, what we're going to install here. Um, there is no admin or anything like that. Uh, all of the configuration is actually done right here. Um, so that's kind of why I think they don't want you to put this as a public facing application. Uh, but if we wanted to do something like uh, DB tech reviews, like so, uh, and then here we can see, uh, here's my website, here's my channel, uh, and then here's a bunch of other stuff uh, that isn't me. But uh, if we click that, it should take us right over to uh, you know, in this case, how to install Windows 10 on a Chromebook. So anyway, that is, uh, it basically it is your own uh, private Google search engine, uh, just meant, meant to be used around your house basically. So, or your office, wherever you're deploying this stuff. So tell you what, let me show you a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the first one, if we come over here to Portainer, uh, I tell you what, let's actually, let's get rid of this Google. Uh, here we can see that it's running on port 5000. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click uh, remove and we'll say, yeah, remove any non-persistent volumes, remove, all right. So the first way we'll do this is actually in a stack. I will have this available linked in the description down below, uh, probably in a blog post, but uh, this is all you'll need uh, in order to get Google up and running. Uh, basically, we're gonna use a version two stack. Uh, the service is Google, as you would imagine. The image, we're gonna use uh, Ben Ben Busy, or Ben Busby, uh, his or her, uh, ben Busby's Google search latest image. And below that, we've got the container name of Google. Below that, we've got ports 5000. If you're already using port 5000, you know, you could change this to port 5001. Uh, just make sure to leave uh, the second uh, set of uh, numbers here alone. Just change the first half of that. So let's set that back to 5000. And then this will just restart unless stopped. Um, and that's all you've got to do. Uh, at this point, you would just scroll down, click deploy the stack. We'll give it a second to do its thing in the background. Uh, and then if we look at the logs, uh, it's serving on port 5000. Uh, so again, if we click that, uh, there is Google. It's really just that easy to deploy a Google instance on your local server. So before we get into the second way to deploy Google on your server, I just wanted to touch on a couple of things real quick. Uh, one, if you enjoy my content and wanna help support the channel, there are a couple of different ways you can do that. The first is uh, via the coffee link in the description. Coffee is like a one-time tip jar uh, where you can support the channel that way. Also there's Patreon. I've got four different levels at which you can currently subscribe. Um, the three, five, and $10 levels will give you early access to my content when that's available. But the five and $10 levels will also give you access to a patrons only Discord server uh, where we can hang out and chat about whatever you'd like to chat about. So if either of those uh, interest you or you wanna support the channel via either of those methods, uh, definitely check out the description down below where there will be links to both of those. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method to installing Google on your home server. Uh, the other thing that we wanna take a look at here is actually on um, ben Busby's uh, hub.locker.com page. Uh, he's got a lot of information in here and I highly recommend checking this page out if you've got any questions. Uh, there's a lot of really good information in here. <clears throat> um, but basically the other thing we can do is just run this command right here. So I'm just gonna copy that. I am gonna go back over here to Portainer though and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and say remove persistent volumes or non-persistent volumes rather. 
Um, and then I'm going to open up um, my PuTTY application. You can use whatever application you guys want to use. Look, you guys tell me a lot. Well, Windows 10 has SSH built in by default. I know. I promise. I know. Uh, but I like to use PuTTY. I've been using PuTTY for a long time. I'm a creature of habit. I'm going to use PuTTY. You can use... Um, Putty, or you can use uh, whatever they've got built into Windows. Hell, for that matter, you can just go over here to Chrome and, oops, and uh, type in SSH. And uh, that you can actually connect right from your browser as well. There are lots and lots of ways to connect. I'm just going to use Putty because I like to use Putty. So uh, I am connected. Here we can see I'm connected to my Tenix server here. All I'm going to do is just paste in that command. Uh, normally, it would go through the process of downloading, extracting, deploying. Uh, I already did the download and extract, so all it had to do was redeploy. And then if we come back over here to Portainer uh, and refresh, uh, let's... Uh, oh, it wouldn't be in a stack. It would be over here. Uh, so here is the Google search uh, that we just deployed via uh, the SSH command here. Again, we can click that, and it's going to take us right back to the same screen. So uh, what I did want to show next was actually in this configuration... Uh, you can set the default country. Uh, this is going to be better, I think, for uh, things like uh, getting somewhat local results. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, United States. Language is English. Again, you can narrow down your, your search results. Uh, I'm going to say Denver. Uh, you can decide whether or not you want to show Node.js links or not. Uh, dark mode. Uh, I You know, I normally like dark mode. I don't like dark mode on Google, but I'll show it anyway. Uh, you can set safe, safe search so you don't get any kind of adult links or anything like that. Uh, you can have links open in a new tab. I dig that. Uh, and you can say, do you want to get get requests only? Uh, I'm not even going to bother, but I'll go ahead and click apply. There's dark mode. It looks fine here, I suppose. But again, if we do DB tech uh, reviews and search, I don't know. I just, I don't like the dark mode here. That's just me. Um, but that is all of the different uh, options as far as um, the, the configuration options that you've got here. I'm going to switch that back and click apply. Um, but basically, that's how easy it is to set up Google. Uh, we've actually shown two different ways to install Google, uh, one through uh, Portainer and one through an SSH command. So again, very, very easy to set up. Um, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would help me out a bunch. Um, but I think with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.